Hello, this is J. Michael Fow from DailyWeightLossCalculator.com, and in this segment I will be showing you how to use the Daily Weight Loss Calculator and the different components that make up the calculator. In another video, I'll show you how to use the Daily Weight Loss Calculator to successfully complete any weight loss plan that's based on a calorie deficit. You can find the calculator at DailyWeightLossCalculator.com in the Calculators section, which you can locate right here, or if you scroll down the page, there's a larger button that you can click on right here. This is absolutely free to use. You just need to register, and you'll be sent the information, a login name, and a password to get into the calculator section. Now, this calculator calculates its results based on who you are as a person, so we need a section at the beginning of our calculator to enter in our vital statistics. For each day of your weight loss plan, you'll come in here and change the default values to those values that reflect you. For example, I might weigh 175 pounds, and as I click off to another field or click off to the side, you'll notice that the calculator is calculating new values and it's calculating different results. And it will continue to do this every time we make an entry into the calculator. And let's say that I really wanted to weigh 150 pounds, and it calculates a 25 pound drop in weight for myself. Now, it defaults at a 60 day weight loss plan, but you can change that to anything you want. 30 days and today happens to be day one of my weight loss plan and I would change this to a male and set this for my height and etc and you would change your weight and you'd enter your value bef your weight value before breakfast and since this is day one it would be 175 the same as my original starting weight also we want to enter in our activity level and it's either 0 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or more than 60 minutes. And let's say that I don't get any exercise at all. I just sit at a desk and work all day, and I come home, and I sleep. And that's it. The calculator determines that my total calories that my body needs is 2,597 calories. So in other words, 2,600 calories my body needs to maintain this 175-pound weight. If I drop below that 2,597 calorie uh, minimum needs for my body, I will begin to lose weight. So the idea of a calorie deficit plan is to drop a significant number of calories below this amount. So instead of 2,600 calories, I might drop 500 and eat only, at a maximum, 2,100 calories. Or I might want to drop 1,000 calories and eat only 1,600 calories. And that's the way a calorie deficit works. If you are below what your body needs, you will lose weight guaranteed. There is no way around it. You have to lose weight. Now, you might gain weight temporarily because you drank a pop right before you weighed yourself. Um, and there's reasons for water retention and, and food still not processed um, in your intestines. But that's a temporary weight gain, and so you will get those fluctuations as you go through your weight plan on a daily basis. But ultimately, you will be dropping weight, and this calculator tells you exactly how many pounds you're dropping every day. Now that we've entered our vital statistics, we also need to enter in the amount of calories that we're eating on a daily basis. And I have three sections of the calculator that allow us to enter in our breakfast calories, our lunch calories, and our dinner calories. And you can do this by entering specific items. For example, you could type in cereal and the number of calories in the cereal that you ate, which might be 250. Or you can just do a single item that summarizes everything. If you had a big breakfast, um, at McDonald's, you would enter in the total amount of that, and I'm not sure what they are, but 
so let's say it's 750 calories and it will calculate a running total right here of a thousand for those two items and your lunch calories would be the same you can enter in individual items or just one entry for the entire lunch and the same goes for the dinner calories and let's just enter in one more item here and let's make it um, steak dinner and let's just say the whole dinner itself was 1500 calories there we go while we've been entering the number of calories we've eaten for each meal the calculator has been doing its thing and it's been recording what we've eaten total for the day and in this case we record a total of 2500 calories eaten and if you remember the minimum amount that our body needs on a daily basis is 2,597 so we are just 97 calories short of what our body needs which is why we see that we've only lost three hundredths of a pound today which is nothing and that's a good example of why you need to make a significant drop in your calorie deficit like 500 or a thousand calories or 1500 calories so that that number will be much larger so let's go back up and we'll just change our dinner value to something a little bit more significant let's make it just 1000 calories and you can see that we, we consume uh, 2000 total calories and we've lost just shy of two tenths of a pound today and that might not seem a lot but two tenths of a pound every day for five days is is a full pound the total pounds that we've lost so far is the same as the total pounds that we've lost today because we're on day one of our weight loss plan if we were on day five we would see the accumulated total of five days worth of calories dropped finally the summary section shows you what your true weight is at the end of the day today so in other words the value that you entered at breakfast minus the total pounds lost today is equal to your true weight at the end of the day today in our example it was 175 pounds minus 0.17 pounds to give us 174.83 pounds